Hey guys, this is going to be a new tutorial series covering Atlas Mod Kit. We will go all the way from simply downloading the mod kit to a finished mod as well as covering some basic blueprint logic. In this video, we will make two items, a decorative flower that has no logic at all, as well as a treasure chest that shows how many items are inside. In the videos after, we will make these items craftable and package them as a mod for the Steam Workshop. So let's dive in. First thing you want to do is download the Epic Launcher. Uh, go to the store, search for Atlas. Once you find the Atlas mod kit, download it and start it up. Once the mod kit is started up, you're going to notice in the content browser, you'll see an area that says discovering assets. Before doing anything, just let this do its thing. Once the progress bar fills, we'll continue. Okay guys, once it's done the discovering assets, the first thing you want to do is you want to come up here and hit play. Uh, yours will probably be the selected viewport play. Uh, I like to have mine as the play this level in new window. Um, one, if you want to change it to the play in new window, all you have to do is hit this drop down and select new editor window. It's up to you on how you prefer it. But hit that play button and it's going to take a little while for the load. Just Press it, go grab yourself a cup of coffee, come back, and it should be done. About five minutes, maybe. Okay. Once that's loaded up, you're going to notice that you have a lot of UI on your screen. Uh, if you want to hide that, just hit backspace. It'll get rid of everything. Um, but you have a lot of information here. You have hyperthermic insulation, NPCs, uh, active sounds, a whole bunch of different stuff. Temperatures, the time of day, your coordinates within this world space. Um, your rotation, everything. So a lot of that, for the most part, we don't really need it. It just depends on what you're working on. There's a lot of stuff here that we can utilize. And there's a lot of other debug things that we can show you in the future, like uh, debugging a structure or a lot of different things. Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and let's get started. I've already made a YouTube folder uh, from earlier and I keep trying to delete it and it won't go away I don't know why but um what you want to do is in your mods folder here on the side oh I'm sorry let me show you guys how to set this up you are probably not seeing this second content browser it's probably something more like this just go up to windows and then go down to content browser and select content browser 2 and I just like to drag this up to where I just have my landscape and foliage and everything right here. Because that's really all I'll ever utilize. And then when I am utilizing that, I just lower this guy down. Um, so what I'd like to do is I, I like to have this show the folders as well. So right here next to filters, if you select show hide source panels, it'll give you the folder list as well. Because what I'd like to do is this is when I search for my reference objects. And down here is where I'm working in my mod. So in the mods, I'm going to right click, select new folder, um, and then I'm going to name it YouTube, which will give us this new folder. And so I want to give you guys a place. What you can do is come in here to filters and select blueprint. If you want to have it set up like me, you can select blueprint, static mesh, and textures, and then un unselect the other two from up here so that they don't have these colors. So I'm going to go back unselect and now we just have blueprint showing and what I can do then is I can select Atlas because I want a blueprint that I know is in there um, and I'm gonna grab the I think it's called gravestone if I remember correctly the gravestone this is a really really good one for making placeables in my opinion so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab both of these I want the primal item structure gravestone and I want the holiday structure gravestone because Basically, the primal item structure gravestone is the item within our inventory. And the holiday structure gravestone, that is what you see in the world whenever it's placed. So I'm going to drag both of these down and I'm going to say copy here. Once that's done, I'm going to select my primal item structure gravestone and I'm just going to hit F2 on it to rename it backspace a few times let's get rid of the gravestone part and i'm just going to say uh pretty flower
for the holiday structure gravestone, I'm actually going to rename the whole thing. I'm going to say BP underscore structure underscore pretty flower. And that kind of keeps it within the same naming convention as most items within Atlas. Okay, we're going to start out with the primal item structure pretty flower. And for just quick editing, there's a lot of options in here that we can mess around with, but just to get to the stuff that we really want to mess with for this particular blueprint or for this uh, decorative, I'm going to come over here to this eyeball and I'm going to select show only modified properties. This gives me everything that's been modified on this particular item from its parent, which is the primal item structure generic. So then we can just say, the descriptive name base name this whatever you want it to be named when it's in the inventory so like if the player hovers over it with their mouse they'll say pretty flower right uh you can give it a description this flowers smells nice i don't know um then we can grab a um icon so right here i'm gonna select i'm gonna delete the um filter that we had. I'm going to unselect blueprint. I'm going to select texture. I'm going to flower. Have any nice flower image that we can use? Nope. Okay, I can just select game then. And okay, well this is one that we know is from Arc, but we can utilize this. But this won't show up in the game because it's from Arc. So what we need to do is we need to drag this guy down here and say copy. I'm going to change this to where it says pretty flower icon. I can show you guys in another episode how to import your own stuff. Honestly, it's basically just drag and drop uh, into the content browser. It's not really all that hard, but for now, we're just going to keep it with the, and stuff that's in the editor just to make it nice and fast. Now that we've loaded this in, basically now players will download this icon whenever they download our mod. We can then make sure that it's selected here and hit this arrow. The reason we didn't just press this drop down and search for it is basically this drop down loads up every single texture that is within the editor, which is a lot. So load times can get a little hectic. Um, then we want to tell it what structure to build. Well, we no longer want it to build that gravestone anymore. We want it to build our pretty flower structure. So we're going to Again, select over here, hit the arrow. Then we have the default folder path. Um, if you guys want to set this up, go for it. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to remove the Halloween and the holiday. And I'm going to hit delete on these little arrows here to actually get rid of these. And just leave it in the structures folder path. Okay. Close out of that. Miss, I think I missed something. Oh, sorry. That's the texture. Close that. Oh, sorry. Here it is. The basic crafting requirements. If you guys wanted to change out what this says, basically this is saying we can use any stone item, 65 of them, with any wood item, 15. You guys want to change that out this is where you can actually hit the drop down it's going to take forever or you could have searched for it over here on the side which is what i should have done after just preaching to you guys about not clicking the drop downs okay so that took forever but as you can see here we can select any resource and have it cost that instead For our purposes, what I'm going to do, if I want to find a resource, I'm going to unselect textures, like blueprint instead, and then I'm going to come over here to Atlas, find a resource with an Atlas, and then I can say uh, resource. And we can use pretty much anything that's considered a resource use any coal item so primal item resource coal base when it says base basically that is the parent object of all the other coals so any coal item work for this so now we want to use 65 coal in order to make this 
flower for whatever reason. All right, so we can save that, close out of that one. Now I want to open the actual structure. Okay. So one of the first things we come across is the static mesh. And actually here we can do this as well. Just show modified because we'll only be messing with the modified on this one today. Um, we'll get more into the other stuff in, in later videos. Uh, let's switch this to a static mesh. And let's try to find something within Atlas, which we already found that flower earlier, right? When we search flower. So let's find that. Uh, we could use the white tropic flower. You know what? I, I see these guys around in the world a lot. So why don't we just grab these guys? Um, I want the curved one, actually. And so then we can just hit the arrow there, and that switches it out to be that flower instead. Now, if we wanted to make it to where um, we had multiple flowers that we could place, you could place all of these flowers. That's actually something that we can do instead. Um, time allows. That. All right. So then we also want to tell it what item does this consume. Well, we want to tell it, so basically whenever it gets placed, we want it to delete this item out of our inventory because it's been used. So then we select that over here, hit the arrow, switches it out for us. And then we can set up all these offsets and everything if we need to. Honestly, I don't think we really need to. This is like an encroachment check offset. Um, oh, the name. Again, call it a pretty flower. One thing that is kind of annoying with the gravestone is it does place things a little far out. Okay, we're going to unselect modified, and I'm going to say place. Try to find this really quick. If it takes me a second, I'll speed up the video. All right, so it took me a second, but I found it. Uh, it's the max placement range, or placement max range, sorry. Um, I'm going to set this down to the 500, and basically what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that you can't place it really far out. A little bit of an issue when using the um, gravestone is it likes to be able to place really far away from you. Because it thinks the object is a lot bigger than what it actually is. It just really depends on the size of the object that you want to use. What I did here is I've opened up my inventory once I hit play. And now I'm right clicking on the primal item uh, structure. Then going to give item in game one of the 10. Remember, that's the item that goes into your inventory. Now you'll see it over here in our inventory, our hot bar. And then place it on the ground. So you now you see it's placing 500 from us. Uh, we can look down to get it closer. Since I didn't want the range to be huge, I think 500 works perfectly fine. There we go. So we just made a placeable item. Um, so I think what I'm, what I think we're gonna do in this is instead of showing you how to do another item that has storage and uh, some blueprint logic, we're gonna say that for another episode because the more I think about it, it would take a second to show off the logic and how to implement it and everything. So let's add on to this guy really fast. So we're gonna go back into the. Um, inventory item of it, the primal item structure pretty. Make sure that show only modified is not on this time. We're going to search for, I think it's structures. And build structures. We're going to select that through. And then we're going to select this uh, plus icon. And then put in our first Oh, actually, um, we'd want the second item to be a different item. So, but here we can say, let's say that we're going to have three different items. Um, basically, the very first structure that's going to build is that item that we have here already. But we're not going to put it here because it's already, it already knows it can build that through the other list that we had. See, I think if we do build structure, yeah. Now we can see this structure to build 
this will be the default item is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and now let's go ahead and we're going to duplicate this uh, structure, PP structure pretty flower. And then we're going to yep, click duplicate and I'm going to call this uh, I'm going to put underscore tropic on this. We're going to open that one up. Let's find tropic flower that we saw earlier like that. I'm going to change out the 3D model. Um, one thing you'll notice about this one is it likes to kind of be weird in here. Don't worry about this so much. It will show up in the end product. Uh, we do want to select the eye here. Change out the name. Looks like I forgot to change the name in the other one. Call this one the Tropic Flower. And again, this one consumes everything. So that's pretty much all we need to do on this one is change the static mesh and change the... Maybe it didn't change. Drop it. Flower. Hit save. Okay. Make sure they click off of it, I think. I think it was uh, reverting back when I didn't click off. I like something else, I guess. I'm not sure what was going on with that. And again, over here, I'm just going to call this one Pretty Flower. Click off to make sure that it saves. Save. Then we're going to go back to our inventory item, the primal item structure pretty. And I'm going to set this guy up as our first item. So I'm going to select it over here on the left. Click the arrow. Then we can, again, duplicate this one. And we can say... Uh, large flower? I, uh, I don't know what that, that one would be called. <laughs> but uh, let's, let's just say large. It looks like it'll be kind of big. Um... Once that's done, we're going to open this one. Switch out its static mesh to flower 04. They show only modified. Change out its name. We'll just say large flower. We're going to click off to the side. Save. Then let's go back to the pretty. Select it over here. Click. And now our last item, we want it to be our first item so that it's a cycle. Save. Now we have a, uh, we start with the pretty flower, then we switch to the tropic, then the large, and then we're back on the pretty flower. Now when I hit play, And then instead of having to minimize and everything again, we can just hit the tilde key, press the up arrow, get our pretty flower. Press one. There's that guy. We press T. Large. Ooh, the large flower looks seems like it doesn't want to go up. Let me see. Maybe this guy is. just be invisible actually I thought maybe it was under the ground or something but it doesn't look like it I, I like to use these ramps to check for stuff like that so we'll change out that mesh something else place oh no it is there this one we need to set an offset for for one of the places but instead of doing that I think I'm just gonna change it out because I'm not really liking that mesh the more I see it now all right so let's go for that one we're gonna open it back up and let's find a better mesh something you know these daisies change out the static mesh okay compiling shaders for that and I'm just gonna rename this one daisies other one daisies I'm not sure how to spell that. I'm gonna. I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be with an I E S, so I'm, I'm just gonna go with that. But it doesn't look right. All right. So now when we hit play, build it up. Grab the last thing that we found. Place that. 
and then it goes back to our normal. There we go. I'm gonna hide the HUD really quick by hitting backspace. Now we can kind of inspect our flowers. Now remember, these have no logic. You can't gather them. You can't interact with them. They have no collisions, so you can walk right through them. They are 100% decorative items. All right. That is it for this episode. In the next episodes, we will go over how to make them craftable, how to um, get them in the primal game data. And then we will make the storage box that I talked about. I'm sorry if you guys hear yelling in the background and I live in a noisy house. Um, but we'll talk about the storage box and get and work on its blueprint logic and everything. Um, and then get it packaged and put on Steam. So other than that, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys haven't already, please join the Discord. It's in, the link is in the description below. I think I'll also put a link to the actual Atlas modding Discord in the description below. Uh, some really great guys over there that'll help you out if you have any questions. Um, yeah, until next time. See you later.